This video is Can Can, which is number 10 in Vermouche Book 1. The first thing you need to do is, if you get your bow hold beautifully ready with your bendy thumb, your fingers flopped over the stick and your little finger tapping on the top, um, what you need to do is extend that first finger out and that first finger is going to become your plucking finger which you need at the beginning of this piece. So make sure you're well prepared. You can't really do that if you haven't got a very beautiful bow hold because you'll just drop your bow. So make sure you've got that bendy thumb, then it's all secure. Pop your violin on your shoulder. And if you have a look at the first line of Can Can, You start with your A string, which is in the second space on the stave. The stave is what we call those five lines where we put our notes, and that's how you do reading of music. Your D string is the note that falls under the bottom of the stave, and your G string is the note which has got the two lines and then the blobby note underneath that, those two lines, so it kind of falls off the bottom of the stave. You don't have your E string in this piece, so you don't have to worry about your E string in this piece. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with your pizzicato, and it's really hard to get your pizzicato. Make sure you uh, aim for the right string. So if you land with that first finger on the string, and then pull it away. Make sure you put it back before you play the next note. So I'm actually putting it back on the string, touching it on the string, and then just plucking it gently. And try and get a really beautiful ringing sound. Make sure your string is resonating and ringing really beautifully. Good, all right, so um, once you've worked out what the notes are, the next line, it's the same rhythm and it's more or less the same notes. So let me sing and play along and then you can have a little go with your doing this at home. So A, A, D, D, G, G, D. A, A, D, D. Ah, so this bar is a bit different from the first line. So watch out. Instead of D, D, A, it goes A, A, D. Now, the next bit you have to do with your bow. So that's when you have to put your first finger back on the stick. You've got four beats rest. Those squiggly lines are called rests. We go one, two, three, four. So our rhythm is ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. And so I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh, so it happens three times. So watch out, there are always repeats in music. You always have things repeated. So you've only, you've learnt it once. If you've got it once, then you've got it three times, if it happens three times. So, in the rest, you can do a nice retake, come back to the heel. Come back to the heel. Back to the heel. Now it says wait for eight beats. So you have to sort of count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the chorus is when the dancing happens. So this is when anyone in your family that's around should recognize this chorus, maybe, or if they don't, it's a dance that they have in an opera called um, the Oh gosh, which one is it? Orpheus in the Underworld? Oh, I think so. By Jack Offenbach. And you just have to play an open string accompaniment. Now watch out, because you're playing on the G string. So don't forget, this elbow has to be nice and high. Not your shoulder, just your elbow. So I'm going to count myself in. This is the chorus coming up, and it says F, F, very loud. So one, two, three. Off we go. G, 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 And then 
again, it goes back to the beginning. It says wait for eight more beats. You go back to the beginning. You get your first finger, lift it off the stick to do your pizzicato. And we go back to the beginning. One, two, off we go. A, A, D, D, G, G, D, Sh. A, A, D, 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 A, Sh. A, A, D, D, G, G, D. A, A, D, D, A, A, D. Get your bow ready. One, two, three, four. Do a retake, land with your bow on the string so it doesn't throw your, so you don't throw your bow on the string. One more time. One more time. Oh no, it's different, sorry. And then you do the chorus again. So you do it all like that until the very end of the piece. Great, that's a really fun piece. I hope you enjoy playing it.